All right, guys, so welcome back to The Infected. Clearly, you guys have got the same nostalgia for the forest that I have, or you just really like the look of this game. Either way, we are on part number two, and it's day number three, which has just gone past midday as well, and I'm a little bit worried because I'm fairly certain that we set the settings to be day number three is when we get attacked or visited, I guess, by those things that we ran into in the previous episode. So, we got to start thinking about making some kind of weapons. Let's see. Instructions, placeables, itempedia. Right, this is it. So, what do we need for a bow and arrow? This is going to be my best bet, right? I get a little bit of range stick and three rope. And the bone arrows are the just normal stone arrows. I think we can make this. If I can at least make something like this today, I'll be a lot more confident in taking those things down. The better the range, the more chance that I'm not, I'm not getting slapped or at least bitten by those things because they're like part vampire right so let's see this again what do we need itempedia can be crafted by the player or on the workbench right one stick and three rope but we don't know how to make rope so where's that rope 25 ropes craft on a workbench oh no wait it says craft on the workbench oh okay so that's out of the question then what else have we got let's see itempedia and I mean, we have a spear. Is a bone spear better than a normal spear? I can't imagine that the bone would do any different than what the, the actual stone on the end of the spear is doing. Axe. What's this? Iron pickaxe head. We can make a quiver too. I think it might just be worth making a ton of spears. So what is that? Stone blade, three sticks, and five plant fiber. Right. And it's getting dark in the day as well. Right. Things are going to start getting real spicy real quick. If I don't get some of this stuff done, like at least prepare... We could be in trouble. I also did get attacked by a pig. I tried to throw a spear at its head because I want to get that aim down. And as you can see, I'm down to 80 health. So I've got to be really careful. Harvest this up. Harvest and harvest. One, two, three. And here comes the rain. With that fog as well. I do love this effect. I really do. At first, when I first saw it, I thought it might have looked like a little bit much, but... When I watched it back, it actually looks cool. It sets, definitely sets the atmosphere. And to boot as well, you really can't see what's through that tree line. So <laughs> it just adds to the mysteriousness of what's going on. Oh, it got rid of the, the side of the backpack that I used to, to see my weapons and tools. Here's all the food stuff, which I'm not going to be using that. Let's just get rid of this stuff. But it's got rid of the side of the backpack where I can see the weapons. I mean, it's, it's not really an issue i can just throw these in here and then if i need to use these ingredients then i've got them right so it's just a little bit unnerving that <laughs> when those things come in i don't really have a lot of defense and i don't want to be messing around rummaging through storage units while i'm trying to do this i suppose i should keep at least 25 on me for that all right i mean we've got it it's not a big deal throw you in there 50 we've got the lighter and i should probably break this axe down Oh, it sounds so good. So, so good. Right, can I make, like, ladders just getting up to the roof? I mean, <laughs> I know that might be, like, a, a little bit of a cheese, but if I can just get onto the roof there, that'd be kind of nice. Let's see. Buildables. Oh, I can actually put stairs on this thing. I need a foundation, though, right? I think everything needs a foundation with the building mechanics of this game. Let's go back into this. Wooden ramp, wooden walls, wooden door frame, wooden ceiling, wooden stairs. Yeah, there's not really... I mean, there's a fence. Oh, spike trap. Oh, I can actually just put that down. What does that take again, though? Let me just quickly see before I place it down. One log, four sticks, one rope. Oh, I can't make the rope. So it's useless me trying to make that. I need that workbench. A glass door frame. <laughs> Wait, we... <laughs> oh, that's right. No, there's a furnace. There was a furnace. We saw that. It was like, it was under one of these. There's all kinds of like all the posh furniture and things. There's a fridge, stove, right, workbench, which is the one that we needed. This one, right? Can I get to putting this down so we can start fabricating some rope or something? Put you down. Plank, nails, nails, right, iron ingot. All right, we're gonna have to start breaking down some rocks then because <laughs> there's no way I've got any nails. Unless, unless we do a little bit of exploration and steal the nails from those villages. That's probably why it's dangerous to go that way, right? 
Because we're here right now. I think we went down to here. Yeah, it was. It was this area, wasn't it? Because we went from the swamp and then we went down to this area. That's probably why it's so dangerous going into there. It's nice that the sun's come out, but we've got like a couple of hours left of it. So let's make use of what we can. Do we build up or do I focus on trying to get some resources for the advanced workbench? Tech not obtained. There's so much that we don't know about this. Right, let's start breaking down some rocks, see what we're getting from them. So this is going to be stone. When this breaks up, by the way, it's so satisfying. There we go. Oh, it's so nice seeing that. Clay. Clay. And more clay. Wait, was all of that clay? Clay there and clay. Oh, it was. It was all clay. What about this one? Because they do look different. I see a watermelon up there too, which I'm going to tuck into. Give me everything I need. Breaking down the rocks. Small stone. Yeah, nothing in this one that, that we've not already seen. It's good to know that we can get a lot of stone from that though. So it's those ones that we get the stone from. Oh! Is that a coyote or is that a wolf? Wait, I don't have a spear. I just want to get... <gasps> oh! No, no! I'm going to have to get inside the house. <laughs> I wonder if I can... Let's see if we can get a look at you. Are you stuck? Oh, yeah, you are stuck. Oh, you look good too. I mean, you took a chunk out of us, but you look real good. Can I hit you with this? Oh, oh my God. That actually scared the shit out of me then. Oh my God. Right. Okay. We got to heal. And wait, how do I use? Split and then bandage. Can I not? <laughs> oh no. What do I use to bandage? Oh, that's right. I click on this and then I guess it's my leg that's injured. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's pretty, it's really straightforward when you do it that way. Why can't I just keep you as my pet? Oh, that'd be so good. Like having like a pet wolf to fight off the uh, the infected or whatever they're called. Oh, that would be so, so good. Stay there a second. Please don't work your way around. This kills me that I have to do this, but here we go. Wait, he hit me then? There's no way you hit me from that far. Oh, there's a bear. Wolf down, but that is absolutely a bear. Okay, this is going to be quite a brutal game, isn't it? I got the pigs to worry about because as soon as I throw something at them, they come charging towards us, and now a wolf has got our scent. I don't know if it travels in a pack or if it's just just solo, but that is a big old bear, and I do not want to be messing with that. I kind of do, though. I'm not going to lie. I almost like want to run up to it and just see if I can get a good headshot on that thing. Oh, oh I thought that caught our scent. That would have been kind of cool, though, if it did that. Bone. Plant fiber. Yeah, we'll just hold on to a little bit more of that. It looks like we're going to use a lot of it. The clay, too. Like, it's so weird finding that stuff. Some animal fat and the bark. You can tell that I'm trying to keep everything organized. Doesn't always work out that way, though. Right, let's see. 56 health. And I was actually going to get that watermelon. Let's work our way around. I mean, I guess we have other priorities now. <laughs> it was... To make a weapon so we could keep away the infected. But now I really want to see the bear. And I didn't really get too close to the wolf before it did like a 180 and just came straight for us. So got to be careful. Not too worried about the pigs. As long as I leave them alone. Oh, can you hear it? He just sounds angry. <clears throat> All right, let's focus on what we need to get done then. Because... Aside from, like, just building stuff up, I don't really think there's much I can do at this point. I've just really got to fight back. If those things come... Is that another wolf? That is, isn't it? That's another wolf that's just come in. That's probably that thing's pack. Right, expand, harvest, and... I guess let's just enjoy some watermelon. <laughs> stuff goes from super calm in this to crazy real fast. I wanted to make something like ladders... So I could just, you know, take a little bit of safety on the top of that, away from anything that's coming in the area. If stuff like this breaks down or gets broken, 
in the process of those things coming in, then it's, I'm not really too worried about it, to be honest. I can get back to this pretty quick. Four lugs. Let's get these done for the planks. Should have enough space. There we go. We'll build this up and one more. Build it up. Okay, so now we want to put some stairs. What is the best or most cost-effective way of doing this? Is it going to be that? Up to the top and then break them down? Let's see what it takes to build this. So, construction. This one takes four logs and six planks. What does this one take? Four logs, six planks. What about just a normal ramp? Can I do that? I don't think... Yeah, I can't place that on there, right? It's not going to allow me to do that. Also, I should tell you guys as well, the building in this game, it looks incredible. Like, it's super simple. But some of the stuff that it allows you to build, you can have a lot of freedom with it, which I absolutely intend to do. What about... No, we don't need to make it fancy. I'm trying to, I'm trying to overcomplicate everything. Let's just do one of them. Put you down there, and then get these lugs placed inside. We'll do the, uh, we'll do the planks first, so they're done. Which is six planks, so four, five, six, and then the lugs. I'm, try I'm trying to work out a way that I can pick these up without having to make a ramp, and then rest them on the top up there, because that way I'm allowed to make a wall. I'll show you guys. One, two, three. Right, so... I didn't need to make a ramp there. If I put one... Oh, stay! Stay! Okay, nice. Right, we got it. It is getting nighttime too. Oh, look at the red. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is... Oh, yeah, there's... No, there's definitely red. That's danger. Right, let's be quick. Window. Place you there. And then... This only takes three lugs and four planks. We've got the three lugs. I get those four planks... We are golden. One, two, three, four. Is there anything else that I need to stock up on? I could use a little bit more food, but I think I can wait out the night if that's all we have to do. Is there anything on there? Yeah, no, nothing. It's going to keep this fire burning, so we've got a reference point for light. Harvest and harvest. Pick you up. Uh, oh, we got to be quick. They're going to be coming soon. I can feel it. It's like perfect conditions for them. You got that cover of darkness thing going on. The red sky. What does this remind me of? Is it seven days? Like the whole... Is it the blood moon? I've never actually fully played that, but I've always wanted to. I think I spoke to a few of you guys about that. Should absolutely look at jumping into that, because I think we'd have a good time. But there we go. The fire's on. And I'm going to take a few of these, just because why not? And if I can hold on to any rocks... Stone blade or something. Yeah, that might come in useful. Right, we got a window. So, my idea being... Let me just break this out so you can see. We're up here now. We've got a little bit of high ground. I don't know if this is going to work. I could always jump across to there too. But I've got a window where these things can come up to from the actual stairs. And if they do, they're going to get poked. So, <laughs> I mean, I hope this is genius, but... <laughs> I mean, only time's going to tell, right? It is night time. 10 p.m. day three. Not hearing anything. I guess I'll bring you guys back if we run into any trouble. I don't really think there was any clear indicator from the rocks of what you're going to get out of them. I think the first one that we, we mined was this one. This style, right? And that's what we got clay from. And then the second one, it looked a lot more like this, which was just stone. And that's when we kind of got into the madness with the uh, the wolf and then seeing the bear in the distance. So there's a lot more that we need to experiment with, like these rocks here. It might just be completely random, though, like just breaking them open. You get different resources out of them, which would be nice. Having to go around and find specific rocks might be a pain, especially if there's like limited amounts of them around the map. These birds are still around, though. No sign of any trouble yet. I don't want to speak too early, but everything seems pretty calm. 12.45 a.m. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. I'm going to tell you guys what I've just thought of while I'm being on my own in the middle of the darkness, by the way, expecting an attack from something that is like a hybrid of a zombie mixed with a vampire. I don't know why my brain does it, but this is what I've just thought of. So earlier on, we saw the wolf and we saw the bear. Those are our two main threats right now, unless we, like, irritate a pig. 
and that's going to attack us. But the wolf and bear so far are really the main predators that we got to watch out for, aside from those other things. But what if, on the nights when we're expecting an attack, from behind the tree line, off in the distance, you heard those things attacking and eating the wolf and the bear? Why do I do that? <laughs> I literally felt my heart race the second that I thought about it. I was like, oh, that would be cool. Wait a second. No, that's a bad idea because that'd be terrifying. Okay, it's daytime. 6.17. And that is absolutely a red sky. So something's telling me we're not through it yet. <laughs> Which is also a bit of a warning sign that I am not coming down off of this area. No way. Unless I'm just not really... No, no, I would have definitely noticed a red sky. We've been having, like, blue skies all the way through and, like, the occasional thunderstorm. Nothing's been like this before. Red means danger, guys, all right? <laughs> Even if there's anybody watching this right now that's like, you're good, you're fine. Jump down. Get done what you need to get done. In all honesty, I should probably sleep, but... I think we're going to power through for the rest of the day. Just try and get little bits done, like breaking down the rocks and stuff. See if we can get some of those resources. Okay, so we made it. It's now 7 o'clock in the morning and there was no attack. Maybe it's just a chance that you'll bump into them then. I'm definitely hearing stuff in that tree line, but there's no way I'm going to take a look at it. Okay, we're purifying some water now because, as you can see, we've got nothing. And I should probably try and get some food as well. But I do want to crack a few of these open. Just to see if we can get any different resources out of them, like we were saying through the night. If I can break some of this stuff open, all right, we're getting more clay. If I can break this open and get some metal, then we can at least throw the uh, the stone furnace down and smelt down an ingot. Clean water, take that and drink. Okay, that fills us to like half. I'm going to go back and get another one real quick. Everything is kind of like micromanagement right now, but... I'm going to keep tearing through those rocks to see if we can get some more resources. Let's see. Open this up. Fill you up again. Just check it. Yep, 60. There's got to be an easier way of doing this. We've just got to get a little bit further ahead. So we, we don't have to worry about it as much. We've got that infinite supply of water. Water is really going to be the thing that costs us if we get caught out in the open. I'm just doing little bits in the background. I've got rid of the wall because I have to throw down this stone forge. You have died? Wait, I don't understand. How did we die? Press enter to respawn. I genuinely have no idea what happened. The only thing I can really think of is because our proteins level was so low that once it got to zero, our health rapidly drained and it killed us. Okay, I mean, <laughs> it's a learning curve, I guess. I don't know if I like that draining so fast. There was no real notification like or anything around the screen or anything like that. <laughs> All right, whatever. Oh, right between the eyes. We'll take it. And harvest. And can I take you? No, I'm going to leave you there. I don't really think I need the hide just yet, but it's pretty easy to get with all the animals that are coming through this area. Okay, so food is absolutely something we need to keep an eye on. And I'm not just talking for like a survival sense either. I'm talking like if it gets low, we're in real trouble. Uh, drink. So that's full. And we're going to go and fill it up again. It's kind of rinse and repeat stuff, but... We're going to get to the rocks next and see if we can start smelting down whatever we find. Because so far, I think we've only found, like, clay and just broken down some rocks. So anything that we find is going to be a bonus. And it doesn't look like the actual rocks have specific resources on how they look, unless we just haven't seen it yet. So open this up again. Throw you back into there. And all right, let's go about breaking some more rocks down. This one just gave us a load of the uh, the normal rocks. And what about this one? If this one's clay, then these ones are just specifically clay. I think it's three in a row. Yeah, that's clay, isn't it? Okay, yeah, these are specifically just for clay then. So maybe they are. Actually, like the way they look, it does relate to what you're going to get from them. I'm going to drop like them. And oh yeah, just over halfway, which is fine. We should have another one of those rocks near us though. Unless I already broke it down. No, it's around there, isn't it? Break this down. That one should have clay inside of it. I need to see what I can make with, with the clay. Again, I was messing around the idea before of making like bricks, but I don't think that's everything. Whoa! Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Come on. Get up there. And 21. And there's wolves on the hill. It's not what you want to hear right now. 
There we go. Right, we got the forge up and running. All right, use forge. So, we can't put that in there. That clearly makes... Oh, wait, wait, we have something. Copper ore. But we can put that in there. Oh, look at that. It rests on the top as well. So, I'm guessing this will be firewood, right? So, if we chop down a tree, which I did have... Oh, wait, no, there's one over there. Oh, there we go. Yep, this is what we do. So all... I'm going to fill this completely up just so I don't need to worry about it because I'm going to make a, uh, a drying rack as well. Just so we don't have to worry too much about the food. And then that way, hopefully, if we can find something like salt to prolong the meats, that'd be amazing. I mean, I'm guessing that's probably in the villages, though, which is super dangerous. Let's go to this and then light that up. Can't start a fire while it's raining. I didn't actually realize that it was. Which is kind of crap, because now I've got to wait for the rain to go, and this thing's going to go out every time. Can I move you? Remove items from the forge before moving. Alright, that's fine. Can I move you now? Oh, there we go. Right, let's do let's do one of these. Build. And then what about throwing a shelter up like this? I mean, it looks a little funky, but it works, right? It's high enough so that we can build something here to block off those things if they come in, or even for that matter, like any of the predators. Let's see. Okay, four lugs. That should go down in no time at all. <laughs> and there we go. Right, so now if I light you again, you should be out of the elements. Wait, does it get rid of... Oh, no way did it get rid of the firewood. That uh, makes sense. I guess that's kind of the forfeit that we get for, for moving everything. Two, three... All right, it's two at a time. It's not going to take too long. One, and then two. And then two more pieces of firewood. We're kind of getting into the habit of understanding how getting, like, the sticks and stuff. So that, that side to it is going to be a lot faster now. I'm, like, setting things like this up. <laughs> and I actually do love how the weather interferes with stuff you're doing. I really do like that. Like this up. Okay, so that now should make us... Or smelt down the copper that we've put in there. Is it copper? Yeah, it is. Okay, placeables, and it was food. There we go. Drying rack. If I can just put you down there, just next to the fire, because it doesn't need to be in any specific spot. Eight sticks, two rope, and one ingot to make this? Wait, what? Oh, it's got hooks on it. Okay, yeah, that kind of makes sense. I mean, you could do that with cordage, too. You could thread it through it, but... I suppose this is the way it's going to be. Ingot, rope, and sticks. Okay, I guess then for now, we'll just get rid of you. Because I'm not going to waste an ingot on that when I can use it on the uh, on the workbench. Or I guess for nails. In order to make the workbench. I still need to find metal though. Let's see, because there's these sites here. I wonder if the dig sites have different things. But let's check on how we're doing. Okay, thirst and proteins. They're okay. But for the simple fact that we need to stay on top of it. <laughs> let's just... Eat that. There we go. <laughs> right. We're off on another adventure. Let's go up to this one and see if we can extract some different resources or if we can come across a different type of rock that we haven't seen. This one gives us clay. This one also gives us clay. And I think this is just stone, right? Let's break it down. <laughs> that thunder. Sounds so good. And... We get just a small stone from it. Let's just do three to double check. The last two that I broke down have just given me small stone. I've not really seen... Yeah, nothing. I've not seen anything else come from these things. Yeah, it's just a small stone. All right, let's get to that resource site then. Maybe that's the indicator that we need to go to in order to find different stuff. That's cobalt. So that is something new. What about this one? I wonder if you're going to be inside the radius of where that, like, mining symbol is. Anything outside of that, you just get stone from it. This is something else. Another cobalt brick. What is, is that just one each time? It is. I'm going to get rid of these just to free up a little bit of space. We can get sticks pretty much anywhere. And then I guess these three are going to be the last rocks. So we've got two cobalt. I'm pretty sure that we found copper at the spot where we were. So we've got copper. Yeah, this is a, a cobalt deposit then. I do have some good news for you guys. This resource site has 
aluminium ore. So it absolutely is the case where you visit different sites and you have different resources coming from each of those extraction sites. Okay, so we've got aluminium, we've got the cobalt, and we've got the clay. Let's see if we can get at least one more. The weight cap should allow that, 47.5. We should be all right. That's just a small stone. It's like four or five hits or something like that. Oh, please don't charge. Where was it? Oh, there's the second one over there. And yeah, we're good. All right. So I want to get back to camp now, which is this one over here. It's really important that I don't forget which one that is because, again, I'm going to get so turned around with this. But so far, we found this one was cobalt. The one we're at was copper. This is aluminium. And I don't know where else I've actually tried. I can't remember trying this one down here or this one. Wait, that sounded like it was over that way. Knowing my look, this is probably going to be two. I saw him, he was somewhere like right down in there. I don't really remember if I showed you guys what the actual forest looks like in this. This is the terrain that we're dealing with though. I mean, it's really, really nice to look at. They've done a real good job with it. And you can imagine the complete terror as you're being chased through this terrain <laughs> at nighttime by those hybrid creatures. <laughs> I gotta be honest as well. I have no idea. I can hear you guys. I have no idea. Where is it? Is that... Is it like... Wolf cubs or something? Right, let's try and smelt one of the cobalt and one of the aluminium too. Because that one should be done up there now. And I want to know what that looks like. Let's see. Yeah, we're okay. Got a couple more minutes before. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we got the ingots now. So that's what the copper ingot looks like. I don't remember where I got this from. I could have swore it was here, but... We haven't found any more. We'll throw you on there, and you on there, and how are you doing for... Yeah, fuel's fine. Right, let's go and get some food. And may as well fill up... Yeah, we'll fill this up while we're on the way over this side. I'm thinking some fish, right? I hear that fish is really good for your heart and stuff. Which kind of makes me really want to get into eating fish. I mean in real life as well. I hear it of everyone. Like, the benefits of eating fish are insane. Find any big old fish? There we go. I see one. Went right after you. There we go. We got it. I wonder what type of fish it is. Trout, something like that. I think that's all we've captured so far. There are different like variations of them, but I'm absolutely no fisherman. I don't know what. Oh, it's tuna. And we'll harvest. And that's give us some. Yeah, three. Three of the raw fish. Right, we'll go and throw that on the fire then. So we've got water purifying now. We got a little bit of food on the go. We've got that cooked meat too and it doesn't look like it oh it spoils there we go there is a spoil timer on this too that's really good to know so i can just leave like one or two fires there cooking food by the time i get back we will be golden i am a little bit panicked now because that's just dropped all the way back down maybe it's the salt from the meat i don't want to eat another thing and i don't know what happens when you drink the dirty water i don't want to risk it Let's just keep my eye on this. Clean water, 120. Oh, it's clean already. Wait, is that the case? And then drink. I mean, I'm not going to argue with it. <laughs> it just, it seems like things happen fast in this. We died real quick after our hunger reached zero and the purification process took no time at all. I'm Again, I'm not going to complain. Cooked fish. Right, we said we were going to have it with the corn. Is there anything else we can eat it with? I really want to grub out now, so... Is there anything else around the area? It said on the edges of where you make camp is the best place to find, like, the uh, the watermelons and things like that. You're not anything, right? Yeah, no, that's not anything that I can get stuff from. It might just be purely random, but... I could have swore that I saw something either over there or this side before. It might... Whoa. What happened there? 
Oh, you got really lucky there. You see the little legs go? I need to get a few of those, I, I'm guessing. I don't know what's making that noise, and it's now legit freaking me out. That was right here. That's not the bird. I would have heard that before. Oh, is it you? Oh, wait, like a little fox. Stay there. Oh my, oh my God. I didn't think it would attack. No, 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 no. Okay, we're safe. I'm so sorry that I had to do that, but you're like really good food. Go down. There we go. Okay, at least we got to the bottom of what was making that noise. How are we doing? All right, it just took five health off us. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, this is what I'm saying, guys. It's so easy to be tripped out. I mean, at least, again, we got another ingredient for the food that I wanted. And you can actually see the cooking timer, which is perfect. We got some sheep or a goat over there or something. <sighs> okay, <laughs> we can breathe for a second now. Let's grub out with that. We'll have a little bit of corn. We will drink a little bit of this, too. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's really nice to see. Eat this as well. Get those proteins up. We need to kind of get the carbs up as well. I think the energy replenishes once we sleep. I guess we can keep this in there. Are we going to have... I think that might spoil by the next episode. Let's just eat everything up. I don't think that we can make ourselves sick, but we're doing a lot better than we were before. With The fats are all the way up. The vitamins are all the way up. The carbs could be better. The proteins are full, and our thirst is looking better than it has been. So I'm happy with that. It doesn't look like we've done too much, but we've made massive strides in working out what we need, what we're going to be building, and what to really do in the event that we expect an attack. I think that worked pretty well with the stairs and the actual, like, window thing that we did. I mean, only time's going to tell if they come back, and there's some more of the ingots as well. Let's see, the cobalt ingot, and the alu- <laughs> I nearly said the aluminum ingot. <laughs> the aluminium ingot. All right, just while we've got that now- let me quickly check before we end if I can make nails out of this thing. Because I should be able to, right? Bulk. It takes five iron ingots. Okay, we haven't even come across iron yet. This is aluminium. So I guess we do need to look around. I'm guessing it's going to be over on these other sides. Like crossing the river, that's really what's going to get you the rewards for traveling further across the map. But guys, I think this is where we are going to end. As always, if you are enjoying these videos, please drop a like below. It's the quickest way of letting me know you want more. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all in the next one.